Yes, Daddy, you can start. All right, we're at number 31. And this is uh, to get or to have the best of both worlds. It's like having your cake and eating it too. You know, have you ever heard that saying? So, yeah, to have, to get or to have the best of both worlds is like, um, let's say, having a bunch of money and being able to spend it and still having a bunch of money and not spending and never ever spending all your money. That would be having the best of both worlds. Um, like I said, having cake and eating it too. That's best of both worlds. Let's say some people would say being able to go to the beach and living by the beach or like you got, you got fruit, farmland and the beach. That's the best of both worlds. So yeah, go ahead. Stop. Oh, yes, yes. Great. Uh -huh. And a good to mention it because it's exactly that. Yes. I'm getting now the, the best of two words. So live in a city and uh, uh, in the country also, no? Because there are a lot of trees and uh, fruit trees and animals and uh, beach clothes. So yes, that's uh, that's it for the this next one to get uh, the best of two, both words or to have the best of both words. So this means when you enjoy the advantages of two very different things, at the same time, she works in the city and lives in the country. So she gets the best of both words. Yes. All right. Lion King. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, number 32, the lion's share. Like the, uh, you would say. That's the, what perfect movie. Yeah, I love the Lion King. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you should, she put the largest part of most. I even of, cried. <laughs> you cried on it. The movie, movie yeah. one. Yes, when the when the, uh, the lion listened the voice, it was his daddy, daddy's voice. I cried in that part. Yes, I would see that happening very much. It was they did a good job on the movie. I say. Yes, yes. Made it so realistic. Oh, I knew the song by heart. By heart, I knew. I knew, but you could sing that. Uh, trying to to remember now. <laughs> um. So yeah, the the largest part of most of something like having land and divvying it up, but you get most of it. Um. Having a pizza and giving out a slice to everybody, but you get the rest. <laughs> That's the lion's share. Having the biggest room in the house, we call that the master bedroom or the master suite. That would be the lion's share. That would be daddy's and mommy's share. No. So go ahead, stop. Yes. Good job, yes. So the lions share. This is when you um actually oops the largest part of or most of something. Uh, example, I did the lion's share of work on this project. Good. Okay. Right. Number 33. I don't know if you've ever tried to balance on a ball, but it doesn't work very well. So, oh goodness! So it wasn't a ball, but I tried in some other stuff at the gym. Oh. It was to to try as he he's trying. Should yeah. be a ball. The it only ball, ball. <laughs> the globe. <laughs> the world so yeah to be on the ball not on top of the world just on the ball to be on the ball to be getting uh to be on top of everything um have your 
all your stuff done at work um, on time or ahead of time. Um, everything's up going good for you. So you're, you're on top of every little detail that comes at you. You're on the ball. You're moving forward uh, with your projects. Um, yeah, to be on the ball, to be motivated to have everything done on time and in sequence. You go ahead, so. Oh, yeah, it's great. So have you ever tried? To stand on a ball? No. Yes, to stand on the ball. <laughs> I, I I wouldn't even try. Yes. On a, on a um, I tried standing. Actually, I did really good on one of those uh, um, hoverboards, and I did good, but not the first. I fell the first time, but no, that'd be dumb to try to stand on a ball. No, huh? Really? Pogo ball, maybe. Oh Never yeah. Played. Long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Long, 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 long time ago. <laughs> uh, ten years old. Yes. <laughs> Less uh, than that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good memory also. Yes. Yes. Go I bought one to my niece and oh. she was crying. <laughs> They're not as good as they were um, when we were ball, Just stand on the ball. Huh? The pogo uh, balls. Pogo ball, pogo ball. Yeah, they made them again, and they were not as good at all. They were cheap. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I seen them not too long ago, a couple of years ago. Yeah, they were just cheap. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. So go ahead and finish this one up. Yes. So, uh, to be on the ball, yes. This is when you you're performing really well well you completed all those reports already you're on the ball today next oh to pull someone's leg or to we say also you you're joshing me right you're just joshing me um so yeah to 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 joke with someone, to have um, pranks or just telling jokes. Uh, or remember the old, you got something on your shirt and you look down and they go, <laughs> it's pulling someone's leg. Um, and, or you could say your epidermis is showing. And you're mm -hmm. like, what? But your epidermis means your skin. So that's joshing someone or pulling your leg. So yeah, just telling jokes, playing pranks. We'll go ahead, Saw. Yes, yeah, great. So uh eh, she pulled someone's leg. Is when you joke with someone, yes. So, uh, don't get upset. I'm just pulling your leg. This is when, so you joke with someone, yes? So, we usually use this uh, to reassure someone, yes? So, you're only joking. Don't get upset. I'm just... Pulling your leg. 